for a uh, calf, and uh, Zuniga is being evaluated for knee. Coach, your thought on the uh, performance by Zach tonight? You know, he looked comfortable, uh, especially on third down, uh, made some good throws, uh, directed the offense really well, got in and out of the huddle. Uh, we moved it very well uh, for those first two series, so it was, uh, it was a good first day. What, Robert, what were you looking for coming into this game from him? Uh, same thing. You know, you just want him to get his uh, feet wet and uh, show that the game's not too big for him, which he, he obviously showed. And uh, especially in those third down moments, he had – uh, he had a couple of critical third down conversions there that I thought was that is the epitome of playing quarterback in this league is keeping staying on the field and scoring t uh, scoring points in two minute situations, and he he didn't he had an op obviously with those third down uh, those third down opportunities two minute he'll eventually get. You told us a couple weeks ago it's going to get worse before it gets better. Um, the last practice he had was probably one of the better that that, that Zach's had uh, this training camp. Parlays it in here where he again looked pretty good. Can you start to see it now coming together for him? No, he. We have so much confidence in the in, in the young man. It's uh, the, you know, you want him to stack up as many good days as possible. But there's there's still youth. There's st he's still a rookie, and there's there's still a lot of things that he's going to learn from. There's still a lot of opportunities for him to grow. Uh, and there's even here uh, in this game, despite the fact that he looked comfortable and he did a nice job, there's still going to be things that he can learn off of. And uh, so there's, there's, it's never going to end. Um, this young man's potential is through the roof, and it's, uh, but it's going to be a, it's going to be a process. How about the fact that he was able to sustain long drives? I think there were ten and eleven plays. Usually rookies, sometimes you get three and out nervousness. What does that say that you were able to sustain? It, it goes back to his third down, the, how comfortable he was in those third down situations to get the ball where it needed to go, deliver it on time, uh, deliver it in traffic, and uh, and give his receivers a chance to catch the football. So is. That's I, I think that's where we've seen him. He's he's such a good student of the game, and he's he knows exactly. He's very decisive, and uh, but it goes back to his third down. So he's, he he did a really good job. Kind of a battle for that backup spot as well. How do you feel like Mike White and James Morgan did today? I thought it was good. You know, they I, I know James made a couple of good throws in there. So did Mike. Um, you know, they're going to get their opportunities again in Green Bay, especially when we go practice. There's going to be great opportunities to showcase their uh, um, their skills over there. So there's. It was a good day for both of them. One of the guys that um, wasn't out there was Elijah. Do you have an update on him after those tests? Yeah, he's uh, he has a uh, quad, and uh, he's he's more day to day. Um, hopefully, we can get him back next week, but uh, we'll see. What'd you think of Denzel's twenty yard? Uh, looked like he ran for half the defense on that play. It was awesome. <laughs> uh, I thought Denzel, man, he uh, uh, he was he had great intent all day. To, uh, he's he's been. He has had such a good week, week and a half of uh, of training camp and and leading up to to this game, he, he it paid off for him. And uh, his his size, his length, his speed, his power, all of it is it was showcased in those uh, in a couple of catches that he had. Obviously the third down, but the play, a couple of plays before that, he he lowered his shoulder on a corner and and was able to pick up a few extra yards there. So I uh, thought he had a really nice day and he had great intent. And now he's just got to stack it up. There was a moment um, after he made those plays where. You embraced him. What did you say to him after he was making some of those plays? Um, I'll keep that between me and him. Are you happy, Robert, with the way he's responded to the first few weeks of training camp? Of you know, he hasn't. I know he made a big deal about the first team and stuff, but this guy was a second-round pick last year. He played in the fourth quarter tonight. Clearly, you guys have challenged him a little bit here. Yeah, he's. I mean, it's. We're obviously with Elijah being known. We're um, and uh, just losing some numbers at receivers. There's some guys who had to step up, but. Uh, you know, I think his mindset's been good. You know, he's uh, he, he's he's in a really good place. Um, you know, he's especially with the sickness that he had in OTAs and all the different things that he had to go through and then battle back. So he didn't get those reps, and then he shows up in training camp. He's got great mindset to him, and uh, he's he's grinding. He's trying to catch up on the playbook, and uh, and today was a great step forward. Are you happy with the way your defensive line played tonight? Yeah, they were good. They were they were relentless. Um, Missed some opportunities there, especially on that uh, third and that uh, the touchdown got him got him pinned back. You got to keep him keep the quarterback corralled in the pocket, otherwise those, those things happen. But it was awesome to see them come back and end the game on the safety. Robert Tevin Coleman didn't play today. Was that just a uh, personal reasons? The cornerback group has been a position that we've all discussed, and you try to you know, infuse confidence into them. Um, what did you see from them tonight? Um, you know, what did you see from them tonight? You know, I. I Felt them fighting, you know. I, I know we got uh, we got a little grabby on a couple of plays, um, 
great teachable moments for them. Uh, we are aggressive in the way we teach our stuff, so it's uh, uh, great moments there for them to, 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 to learn off of. But next week, there's a uh, with those two practices in Green Bay, we've got a, a, a stable of receivers that we're going to get a chance to go against, and it's going to be pretty cool to see these guys grow. How'd, you, how'd your first time out go as a head coach? I, I was glad that I could finally cheer for somebody. But uh, <laughs> no, it was awesome. I thought the guys, it was, it was organized. The coaches were on it. Players were on it. Um, it, was, uh, it was a clean game. And uh, just, just really, uh, it was a really cool experience. Floor on the sideline the whole game? I noticed him on the second half on the sideline. Yeah, he was down under the uh, entire game. I, it, that was more, more uh, from me. Just I wanted him to try coming down. He's going to go up. I just wanted to try calling plays from different parts of the field to see how it goes. And uh, um, so we'll get feedback from him after next week to see which way which one he likes better. What's the reason you wanted him to see it from a different perspective? It's his first time calling a game. I, I, I know I did it. And uh, you know I know that coordinators have called it from up and down. And it's I just think it's important for him to, to try both ways just to just to see what's more comfortable. I'm going to guess that he likes the box better because it's a little bit clearer. But unless he knows, he's he'll always wonder. So. Having what you got from out of your rushing attack with uh, Coleman out. Oh man, I, the it's it always starts up front, and uh, I thought our old line it showed its depth. Um, we're uh, I thought they were really leaning on them there in the second half. I know the yards per carry doesn't show it, but they were they were taking good. I mean, they were moving the ball forward, and uh, obviously until that last play, they were they were getting some chunk yards right there and had a chance to end it. But uh, credit uh, the Giants made a really good play. Bryce Huff is Bryce Huff's a guy who I think clearly has impressed you guys. We've seen him with the first team, and now he's been out. Obviously, he came into the, the pass rushing package for you guys today. Had a sack. I think he actually had two today. Can you just talk about his development throughout training camp? What you've seen to give a, a young guy that much time with the first unit? You know, he he uh, he transformed his body through OTAs and all the way up to training camp. I mean, he he uh, he's he's done a really good job. Uh, uh, Really getting himself ready to, to to have a really great training camp, and he's and he's been having it, and it's credit to him. He's uh, we the more we watch him, the more I mean, he's just winning. And uh, he was one of those guys that first were like, man, how are we going to hide this guy in the preseason? He's going to end up with like ten sacks, and and it got to the point where like, how are we going to keep him off the first unit? So it's uh, it's a credit to him and the opportunity that he created for himself through his work in the uh, uh, during practice. Had a, a really nice play there with that chase down, and it's kind of had. Several plays, and I just, what did you think of that particular play, and where do you think he's at? Oh, uh, so Eccles, <laughs> um, so it was actually, it was, uh, he wasn't supposed to be there, but credit to him uh, uh, fixing a play. He, he, he made it right, and uh, to show the strain, to get back over the top and make a play on that and his speed, that was awesome. I uh, thought it was a really good first day for him. There's going to be some things that he can learn from, uh, especially uh, in those single and those one-on-one -on -one opportunities out on the edge where you're at, we're in our system, you're on an island. It's just the way it is. That's the way we play ball. And uh, But I, I, I love his mindset. I love how physical he is at the line of scrimmage. I love his hands, his footwork. I love his mindset. And uh, and today will be a good day for him to learn off of and, and uh, take it to take it next week and get better. Good. How you guys doing? Zach, how would you evaluate your performance out there? Uh, yeah, I thought it was good.